So S1001 was an NCTN study uh, where there were three cooperative groups, SWOG, Alliance, and ECOG, Akron. Uh, and this was a study in limited stage diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is the most common non-Hodgkin's lymphoma diagnosed in the United States. Uh, and uh, it's uh, about 30 to 40 percent of it. And it presents at limited stage as opposed to advanced stage about 30 percent of the time. So the typical standard treatment for limited stage diffuse large B-cell lymphoma that, that is recommended by NCTN guidelines, sorry, by NCCN guidelines, uh, is uh, three cycles of RCHOP followed by involved fear radiation therapy. Um, and this study used a PET scan after three cycles of RCHOP to direct further therapy. So patients who uh, were PET scan negative after three cycles of RCHOP only received one more cycle of RCHOP, while patients who were still PET scan positive uh, received uh, radiation therapy and radiomunotherapy agent called the Pertumum uh, The brand name is Evelyn. Uh, and it turned out uh, that uh, almost 90% of the patients were PET negative and only received uh, one more cycle of RCHOP. And they did extremely well with uh, overall uh, only five relapses in the whole group out of 159 patients. Uh, and uh, the patients who received a radiation followed by Ibrutuma motaxetan actually also did very well. So the group in general did very well with five-year uh, progression for survival rate of 87% and five-year uh, uh, overall survival rate of 90%. So this tells us that uh, in case of absolute majority of patients, four cycles of RCHOP is enough to get an excellent outcome in uh, a limited stage diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and that radiation could potentially be used only in small proportion of uh, patients where it gives reasonable results. In this case, it was given together with uh, Ibrutumum obtexetan, which is not FDA approved in this indication. Uh, so uh, the radiation would probably be the most important part in this case. I think there was a lively discussion in general um, uh, during the session as well. And I think together with the uh, uh, trial that was reported at 2018, uh, ASH uh, session in younger, more favorable patients, uh, it could produce a change in the treatment paradigm to RCHOP times four. Because this trial enrolled older patients who had more risk factors for relapse, it's more relevant to that group. Thank <laughs> you.